timeline. We have set a very ambitious target for ourselves because this is the need of the hour. So we are rushing against, you know, all, all we, on the one hand, we have to maintain the procedure. All protocol has to be maintained because this particular BSL, the biosafety leverage that we are talking about is of level three. And you are aware that from level one to level four, the level four happens to be the layman's term, the highest level as far as the uh, safety protocol is concerned. We are setting up a level three, uh, you know, a protocol. So it has very high international, you know, uh, standards, security protocol. So the limited point that I wish to put across is the there is a particular committee involving the specialist and some of us. We are in touch with the firm which is Guwahati based. But we also have to understand that under these trying times, many materials are not going to come from Guwahati alone. The firm will have to assemble all these from different cities across India. So some will come down from Chandigarh, some from Hyderabad and across certain metros. So we understand that despite the, the pressing day, number one, and despite the fact that, you know, the we are also rushing against time, we also have to maintain the security protocol and also ensure that all the all the assembling at the Guwahati based firm happens. The only concern is even if there is a break in a chain, for example, when all the assembling happens, but if a chain, for example, from Chandigarh or from any of the metros, if there is a delay in one or two days, then naturally there is going to be a delay in setting up. The target that we have set is not in terms of months, we have set in terms of few weeks from now. But we do not want to slash a date at this stage because we set a date and then if it delays by two, three days only, also will also create a lot of anxiety among the people. So we have set targets in terms of weeks, few weeks, but we are not slashing a date at this stage. But there is a committee which is on the clock for basically and solely for this purpose. So you, know, you can be rest assured that we are on the job and um, we understand that at this stage that is the one of the most important priorities of the state. So at this stage I would just like to keep it there. Thank you. That's about the logistics part, but what about the manpower? Whether we have the manpower, adequate and efficient manpower to handle the lab? Mm. My colleague Kasona, he is the convener for this particular uh, project, the Secretary of uh, Manpower is a challenging thing always in our state, but fortunately, we have been able to identify uh, some. And while the physical infrastructure goes on, we are going to send them for training and upgrading for the infrastructure to come up. That's all really nice. Sir, how many members in the community? There are four of us. <laughs> no. See, the four committees, thank you for asking, sir. I think, uh, see, at times like this, everybody is coming together, working together. It's a very nice thing that we're experiencing. And like I mentioned, I hope all of us are on the same page. Uh, my friend, Kulit Kasunga, is the convener for that, for all the logistics and everything from the government side. And we do have Dr. Sidibi, Director CHSR, for his expertise and the infrastructure that is available in CHSR, including some manpower there. Then we have Dr. Arup Mitro, uh, Vijit Mitro, the director ICAR, ICR. Then uh, we have Dr. Tina Kamo, our pathologist as the member said. They are all experts in the own field. And then we are not, I mean, like, we have to rope in all the expertise that we have in our field. So that is how they are working. And we have been at, at it uh, from the word go, and we are hoping for the best.